Hey everybody, it's Jenny, and I am back today to share with you the Coco Daisy Chapters collection kits that I received for my work with Coco Daisy. I have not opened this box yet, but I am really excited about it. I, as I mentioned, received these kits as part of my work. I did not purchase any of these. I just want that to be clear. However, I will give you my very honest opinions and I like to not look at the kit contents before I share with you because I like to share with you my honest first impressions of each item. Now this does mean that sometimes I am not exactly sure what some very specific items are, so you'll have to bear with me because that's part of why I open it like this. All right, so this is the cute, cute, cute little vinyl sticker for those of you that receive a box. Your kits come in a box. All right, so first up, OMG, come on. All right, so this, I'm already super excited, and like I said, I'm gonna tell you why. All right, so this is the scrapbooking kit that includes the pocket card add-on. Comes in this handy-dandy plastic pouch that also has that word is escaping me, you know, the gussets, but that's not the word I'm thinking of, so it can expand, or when you use up all the goodies and you only have a couple scraps left, it can get flatter because that is just escaping me. Okay, so we have some super duper washi tape, and the reason I'm so excited about November's collection chapters, I'm sure you can probably actually already guess. However, I love blue. Okay, so blue is kind of my color du jour. I mean, it's always a favorite, but it's definitely really high on my list right now. And so there's lots of blue. And then you see this, it's like green, kind of an aqua and then yellow ombre or, you know, Oh my gosh, my words are just totally escaping me today. I apologize. And then it's got little splatters in it too. I'm gonna try to get that so you can see the little splatters. They're really cute. All right, we'll save the pocket cards for last because we all know those are always my favorite. All righty, here is OMG, the stamp set. So this is a Lanou's Pot collection, Lanou's Pots collection, where she does a lot of the artwork and includes all of the little hand-drawn characters and all of that stuff. But, oh my gosh, too cute. Okay, so here are the die cuts. Now I have to pull them, okay, I'm not gonna pull any more out, but, all right, so this right there, this is like, I can't explain to you, but like this makes my heart so happy. The blue, the green, the watercolor, the, the whole thing. Like I just, I, that's really a vibe I love. All right, so we've got November vibes. We've got the little cutie, you guessed it, reading a book. If you follow me at all, you know I am a huge, huge, huge reader. So this is, Oh my gosh, I've already got so many ideas, all the ideas. I'd rather be home. Again, I'm a huge homebody, so this kid is right up my alley. This color, oh, it's just giving. It's giving, I love it. Cozy chair plus book equals bliss. Is that not the truth? So, and then we've got little splattering of leaves as well, and so sort of that more brown, golden leaf pattern or color as opposed to the oranges and the reds. So, oh, like this, I genuinely, I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okie doke. Sorry, I just don't wanna get all these things jumbled up, so that's why I try to put them away. Okay, now this color palette for the glitter dots, oh, it's so sweet. It's just, you know, like the light blue and then kind of aqua and yellow and peach and like a reddish, orangish color, so cute. All right, this is one of my favorite things that Coco Daisy does. I don't always get around to using them because 
the month is over before I even know it, but I love these embossed puffy stickers. They just, the dimension and the texture is just perfect. A fountain pen, books, books, ink. I, I can't even stress to you how this is just, between the colors and the fountain pens and the books, I am all set. Okay, so we've got a couple of shipping tags, which I always love these because they're obviously great for journaling or whatever, but they're so cool to tuck behind things for layers. I just want to stress to you that I am genuinely as excited as I'm saying. This is not fake. This is not put on. I really am very excited. All right, so the cards, so like from the library, you know, like they go in the little pockets and then, oh wait, guess what? We also have the little pockets. So they come already pre-scored. So all you have to do is fold them. So then like theoretically, I mean, you could do a variety of score or fold these a couple of different ways, right? But what we're going to do just for this one super quick example is I'm gonna fold that all over so you can see how then it makes these cute little pockets. I didn't do a good job folding, but you know, I'm trying to be super fast, so please don't hold that against me. And then your little cards, oh my gosh, super cute. So think about all of the like school and journaling and reading and I mean, just so many possibilities with a collection like this, especially because the colors are really usable. I'm not just saying that because I love blue and then aqua and all that but it's blue it's green it's a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown like it's just really really usable and then it's adorable enough that yeah it works it works for so much puffy alphas in this amazing font which I'm always a fan of okay now I have not Remember, I have not seen any of this, so I'm like so excited. I want to study all of them. But you've got, these are the chipboard. And this feels like a slightly thinner chipboard, but I'm not complaining, honestly. I love that because it feels a little bit more usable and not quite so bulky. However, that's just like, my opinion it's probably not different I don't know but I like it like I'm a huge fan so warm tea good book soft pillows fine company oh so cute then we have rub-ons stack of books books okay I will say I'm not a fan of rodents at all like give me snakes give me bugs give me bees and whatever take away your mice and your whatever so this creeps me out a tiny bit but I mean I will admit the guy is still pretty cute all right so then we've got a couple of sheets of white cardstock which is always so usable so then let's check out the papers remember they are double-sided and you get two of each oh I love it so that you can use both patterns I definitely anticipate buying some more of this if there's any left over because I love it. All right, so let's look at the pocket cards real quick. Again, I never know what I'm going to use with these guys. I, I don't know. I just, there is not enough time for me to make all the projects that I could dream up, but I love them. And one of these days I'm going to get around to using these. So, all right, let's start with the three by fours, November and the little guy under the books and then November highlights. This is the calendar card, Monday and Sunday starts. I followed my heart and it led me to the bookstore. And then this looks like vintage, like letters, like handwritten letters, you know? There comes a point in your life when you need to stop reading other people's books and write your own. I need to escape time and I write it to create it. I live in organized chaos and I'm good with that. That's adorable. Do you see that right now? Oh my gosh. So cute. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, I love it. So cute. 
and look at that like the little I'm not even sure what kind of bird it is I'm just not even gonna lie I don't know living life one list at a time oh my gosh that's me in a nutshell this is my happy place happy Thanksgiving which is great for the American and Canadians so so sweet I actually love that there's a lot of leaves in the November collection I live somewhere that we don't really get fall and when we do get fall ish weather it is really like Thanksgiving and early December so this is awesome ah that's me to a T sometimes only paper will listen to you am I right okay look at that it's fountain pens and fountain pen ink. I'm so excited. This is, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to hang this one up too. I literally love being at home in my own space, comfortable with the things that bring me joy. I'm even actually going to set this aside because I'm going to put it up in my space. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it little cutie curled up I love it so cute all right let's take a last look at the four by six cards there's only a handful of them just repeating books and then it has the little critters under a handful that are like hidden so you can't actually see the critter. That's adorable. Be grateful every day. And then the like pen ink and fountain pens. That's, guys, I, I'm pretty sure you get how I feel about that. But. So great. All right, I'm gonna set that aside for a second. All right, let's take a little look-see. All right, so this is the mini notebook. I think it's passport size. And oh, I was, I've been waiting to see this, honestly. There comes a point in your life when you need to stop reading other people's books and write your own. And then all this really glorious ink, or art, I'm sorry. And I just love it, I love it. And I'm not even necessarily into brown at all, but I, the way that it, this all just looks together, this is really cute. It's okay, writers should be strange, so cute. So anyway, the little notebook, I like to use these for lettering challenges and writing challenges. This is because the paper is great, it's beautiful, and then I'm very inspired to create with the art, but I don't have to if I don't want to as well. So like it's kind of, I can do whatever. Same thing in the B6 size. So this actually, like I'm looking at this and this would be so great for daily planning. Like if I didn't, if I could get more organized for my daily plans, this is a great size. It's five by seven. So that's what B6 is, is five by seven. So. Very cool. All right, let's see what else we got in here. All right, I'm gonna show you the simple dory real quick because that goes, it's one of the add-ons you can choose with the scrapbooking kit or you can get the scrapbooking kit without the pocket cards or without you know an add-on. But I'm very excited to see all these little patterns and how you can use that scrapbooking kit. So now, What's cool about this book, and I say this every month, so for those of you that watch, I mean, look at that. Oh my God, I love it. Um, is that you have patterns and stuff, but you also have blank pages as well. So it's not super overwhelming. You have a mix of both, and you just get all of the really great patterns included with the month's art, which isn't always like, these like the hand-drawn really specific ones sometimes it's just a little bit sometimes it's the basic patterns so I really dig that see like a blank page it sometimes you just really want a blank layout and you want to add all your stuff to it cute cute okay that's gonna be so fun to use 
Alrighty, so next up is the creative kit. And I had seen a couple of little sneak peeks of this and I'm very excited to look at it because of those sneak peeks. All right, so first up we have a Memento Rich Cocoa Ink Pad. Memento is actually great ink for a lot of different reasons. It's dye ink, but what's cool about it is that we are going to be able to use, all right, let me show you this brush. I'm gonna pull out my, probably don't even wanna see this, but you're gonna see it anyway. Pull out the brush and pull out the ink pad. So both of those things. This is the paper I happen to have sitting on my desk, so you'll have to forgive me. But you just rub it, okay? So like we're just getting some of the ink on the end of the brush. And what's cool about it is that you can really get in there and blend it out. So like you can just pick up a little bit of ink and blend it a little bit more. So that's very cool, right? So both of these are in the creative kit. Obviously that is not, obviously that is an older one. All right, so then we have two rolls of washi and this one is some of the scattered leaves from the collection on a white background. The washi is not problematic, I am problematic. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that, so cute. I really do love that. And then the other one, is some words on what appears to be really dark brown. My goodness cannot get the sticky. You know how they sometimes cling to you, the static. Okay, but so you've got some great words. Just, I mean, like a ton of them too. Like autumn, tea time, hot cocoa, snuggle, warm and fuzzy, crisp air. Very cute. Okay, so then you also have the little three by four card that says my idea of a good time. I'm right there with it. Do not disturb. Then we have the little date stickers, so cute. And then the days of the week stickers. And then some decorative guys. There's that stack from that die cut, if you'll recall. Birds have wings, humans have books. So cute, oh my God. Oh, I just love it. All right, so then we have the stencil, and what's that look like to y'all? It looks like coffee stains to me. So we're gonna try that, just one second. Then we have photo corners, which I, I really am intrigued by photo corners. I've been wanting to add them to my projects recently, and I just, I can never seem to get enough time to do all the things I have envisioned. Two more shipping tags, which these are the sort of off-white ones, love that. Then we have the rub-ons super cute. And then we also have a couple of torn out pages from a, mm, it's a vintage book for sure. I mean, obviously it has this little plant and then some like, you know, reference information as well. So then let's look at these little tabs and such. Just real quick. All right. So, you know, we've got the mini little tabs, which are of course cute. And then we've got little little die cuts. So you've got the chair with the napping critter, do not disturb, books, you know, so a whole bunch of cuties right there. And obviously all the things that, oh, there's a fountain pen die cut in there and I'm dying. Okay. There's just not enough time, just not enough time. Maybe I'm the only one who feels that way, but I have so many ideas and not enough time. All right, so those are the die cuts, the tags, 
the photo corners. I'm gonna hold this right there real quick, the cards and the stuff, the, you know. And then I want to show you, if you're not confident on stencils and inks and all those things, Honestly, you really don't have to be an expert, so I don't want you to think that you have to be. I'm showing you this because I think it's fun. If you hate it, just fast forward through it. It's literally really simple and it's easy to do. The work, the thing you have to be the most careful of is, well, getting ink on your desk, of course, but then also just making sure you don't like ink up some of the other ones. I absolutely do that all the time and I don't worry about it, but I'm also not a perfectionist. Look how cute that is. So you get like this, the coffee ring image and it's so fun to do. And I genuinely think it's just really fun, like enjoyable to blend out the ink and stuff. So hopefully you will love that. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now the next kit is the journaling kit. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying really excited, okay? Oh, actually I shouldn't lie. I probably will keep saying it. However, I'm looking forward to looking at this kit because I'm hoping that it'll have lots of great book and stickers and that kind of thing to use in my planner. And that's where I use most of the stickers and rub-ons is in my planner because I use a Hobonichi. And on the Tomoe River paper, it is delightful to have no added bulk. Okay, so for the washi tape, oh my, I already see something very exciting, at least for me. I see some eyeglasses, I see some ink and some fountain pens, so cute. And even if you're not into fountain pens, rest assured that I think it works perfectly if you love to journal or to write or to use your planner. I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, fountain pen. Like I think it's just like vintagey looking pen, right? Okay, so then we have the journaling prompts on the back of this card, which is great. Then we have two sheets of rub-ons. One that is like, you know, this month, self-care appointment, this week, that type of thing. And then the Monday, Tuesday, so cute. Really genuinely love that. Now let's check out the stickers because you know I've been waiting for this. Ooh, that's cute. Ah, I love it because I think this scene is adorable. So cute fall into a good book. How cute is that? All the little stacked up books. And then last but not least, the Homebody Club. How cute is that? All right, so then we have the stationery kit. which there are definitely some cuties in here. All right, so you have heard me discuss in the past, if you have watched any of my videos before, that this kit comes with this little pin. You can take the back off and stick it on the giant paper clip. You can buy that in the shop, or you can use it as a pin. Then we have a click art pen, which is, let's see, a nice rich cocoa brown. That's beautiful. That's a really pretty color and goes so well with this collection. Okay, so then let's just do the washi because heck, I feel like I'm on a washi roll. Ha 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 ha. Pun unintended, but I mean, I'm not mad about it. Okay, so it's the little cutie in the drawer, and then you've got kind of like an overview of the whole collection, if you wanna be honest. You've got the fountain pen, you've got a planner, you've got glasses, the little bird. So that's where it starts repeating again, is right here. So that's just a cute little scene of all of the things. Very adorable. All right, then we have the sticky notes, which is like a little hand-drawn notepad, and the little fountain pen and the little bird. Okay, so then this is one of those 
patches, the adhesive patches that are woven and the texture is, I never really quite know what to use with these, but I always love them because the texture is incredible. I love it. I just, I always think that's super neat. And I know one of these days I will figure out like a use, a really good use for the patches that I feel like works wonderfully. Okay, so then we have our die cuts and these are vellum die cuts that come in this. Ah, oh, you've already like just totally won me over right there. The cute little foxes, the planner stack, the ink and the pen, the little guy reading a book. So you can see just a ton more really cute images. And then we have something that I'm very excited about and I literally did not know existed, but a bookmark. All I need is a cozy nook and a good book. So cute. Okay, then we have our stickers, which I mean, who doesn't want stickers? Let's just stay home. Oh my gosh, I love it. Fountain pen with ink. And then the days of the week. Oh, I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Then we've got the textured four by six card and then it's a postcard on the back. And then these are the glittery stickers. Okay, that vellum. Can you see, okay, the gold foil of the cascading leaves falling from the tree with the little lantern super cute and then here is the overlay so i'm going to leave it on here so you can see it better cute right that's adorable all right so next up is the we are in luck today stamp set i don't know which one this one is like by name because i um don't have that information in front of me but uh Honestly, I'm so excited. The book stack, the open book, the, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then this other one, we've talked about this before. I mostly receive samples. And so this one has like the fountain pen ink and about writing. This one will be great for journalers. Um, it's very cute. And you can see the picture on the website. I will stamp this and then put a piece onto a piece of four by six cardstock and then slide it in here with this so I can see each image or maybe actually I just realized this second as I was talking to you that I could maybe just do it on the back here but then that way I can see what's on these stamps since it's a little bit harder to see. All right so then we have some sticker kits which I always love. This is the classic cousin these stickers are sized to fit in the A5 Hobonichi Cousin, like in the weekly view. So like they're, whatever that width is, I, I don't want to guess because I don't want to say the wrong thing, but they fit perfectly. So cute. So you've got functional stickers, you've got decorative stickers. It really is such a great kit. And then these are the vellum stickers, so they're a little bit thinner. Yeah, very excited about this one. You will see a lot of this one on my planner pages. And then last but not least, for the chapters kits. This is the memory keeping sticker kit. These boxes are two inches wide. They fit in a big happy planner or in the daisy planner. Okay, love that. That shade of brown would, like a few years back, I wouldn't have loved it, but I'm loving it right now. And then again, the vellum stickers that are wonderful because they're a little bit thinner, but yet they're still super cute. All right, so then I have one more very cute thing to share is the coffee kit. So first up is the coffee kit. Oh, I love it. The coffee kit, the Traveler's Notebook cover. And it's got four strings inside, the gold elastic, and then also the gold pen loop as well. And then look at that. 
how stinking cute is that? And then last but not least, we have the coffee kit as well. All right, so I just wanna remind you that this, these items, you can subscribe through to chapters, not to the coffee kit, through the 23rd. I have to pull this out, I'm sorry, it's too cute. And then, yeah, you can link, find all the links in the description below. That, I mean, that's incredible. I absolutely love that. Like it's got like a little coffee cup on the bottom, the dangle, and then the, the beads. I know I've been really crazy about this kit, but you gotta know this is like my whole books and all of that is like my thing. So cute. Okay, so then we have some of those really fun quote cards that we haven't had them in a few months, but they're always really fun because they're usually a little edgy or whatever. They're adhesive little die cuts. Okay, so then we have regular die cuts. If I can get this package open. Oh, I love them. They're so modern and fun. I love these designs so much. And here's the Coco Daisy one from the back. Remember we saw that already. I can't even, at this point, I can't even remember what it was, but. Really cute, really cute. Then we have more die cuts. Coffee lovers get excited. So you definitely still have a couple of the more basic ones, like right there, but you also have some of the very, very adorable Lunu's Pots ones. Cute, and then there's like even a little tea one right there. So that's awesome because that's like a great mix of if you want the modern little bits or you want the little more whimsical ones. Alrighty, so then we have the stamp set, which is great because again, you've got some of the little more hand-drawn Lanouse Pots pieces. You also even have a Coco Daisy coffee cup, but then you have just also some of the nice modern images as well. A little bookmark page marker. How cute is that? Okay, we'll get to, well, let's do the cards now, shall we? The three by four cards. And then it's it says coffee, but it's like in a coffee cup shape. That took me a second, guys. I'm, not gonna lie, I didn't see it right away. All right, so then we have the four by sixes. So cute. So make sure that if you have not already subscribed to any of these kits, you go down to the description below. He, these are the little coffee stickers. So cute. Go down to the description below and get the links to the kits that you were looking at and it will take you, take you directly to them. Okay, Rubbons, I see you. That's so cute. And then we also have the overlay. So like the acetate sheet. And then some patterned paper. This one is very cool because it looks sort of like crafty recycled paper. And then the Lanou's Pots art. And then you've got these guys. So cute, guys. All right, that is it. That's the coffee kit and all of the other chapters collection kits that I received. So make sure you follow the links and go and get yours so that we can create together all November and longer. 
together. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much. Make it a great day.